Matilda Docker project makes installing Matilda onto Docker containers easier. So we're going to start with that. We'll find that project over under the weaponized area in the GitHub, and it's the Matilda Docker repository. And to get the code, we're going to copy this link. And over on our Docker virtual machine, we're going to use git to clone all the files from that repository. Now we'll see that we have a new folder called Matilda Docker, and we're going to change into that directory. Inside of here is all the project files. Since there's a docker compose.yaml, we can use the docker compose up command to cause the, all of the servers to get built, and then Docker will start running those servers. There's an important note, the first time we run this command, the images haven't been pulled down yet, and the individual servers haven't been built, so there aren't any containers to run yet. Docker Compose will automatically use the Docker files inside of each of these folders to build those individual servers. And this is going to require pulling down the files and also building the files, installing all the dependencies and making all the changes that are specified in those Docker files. So this process is going to take a while. Part of it's going to depend on how fast download speeds are, and part of it's going to depend on how fast the images can be built. But expect this part to take around 10 minutes. With the build process complete, in the containers running, we'll see the messages from the containers appear here in the console as messages become available. We can stop the containers by pressing Control C, and Docker will stop each container one by one. As an example of running Docker Compose up after the builds are complete, we'll go ahead and start the containers again, and you'll notice that they start very quickly. Nothing needs to be built except for that very first time. With the containers running, we're going to go on over and start checking out the project. Matilda is running on port 80. The first time that we visit the site, we'll notice that the database is offline because it hasn't been built yet. There's a script inside of Matilda to build the database, and we can click on this link here in order to cause the database to get built. Once that's done, we hit OK, and we'll be taken back to the home page, and now the website is running. The project also includes a PHP My Admin, and that's running on port 81. Since the browser goes to port 80 by default, we'll need to put colon 81 onto the end of the URL. And that'll take us over to the PHP My Admin console, which is configured to automatically log in. And we'll see the various databases here on the left. The Open LDAP admin runs on port 82. And so if we go to 82, we'll notice that login. And then to log in, we log in with CN equals admin, comma DC equals Matilda, comma DC equals local which is the admin.matilda.local login, and the password is Matilda. So now we can log in to that console. Now in order to load the data for the domain, we're going to need the LDIF file from Matilda. Let's go back over to GitHub, go into the LDAP directory here, and We'll notice that there is no LDIF information in the Matilda Day Docker project. So that isn't going to get loaded when you start the container for the very first time. So we need to grab that LDIF file, and we can get that from the Matilda Day project. So we go back over to the Weaponize project and go to the Matilda Day project, not Matilda Day Docker, but Matilda Day. Go to Configuration, Open LDAP and you'll find the matilda.lf file in there. And you can copy this. You click on raw, 
copy the contents. And then over here on our server, we can create a file that we can upload. So we'll open a new terminal. And then we'll go into the project directory, Matilde Docker, and then the LDAP directory. And then we can create the file inside of here. So this is the Matilde.LDAP file. Paste the contents, save the file, and now we'll see that the Matilda.LF file has the contents for the LDAP directory. Go back over to LDAP admin, and we can hit import. Browse over to that file we created. Select it and we'll see that the browse has picked matilda.ldiff and be listed here. And then you'll hit the proceed button and it'll go ahead and load the objects that haven't already been loaded. Now in my case, I've already loaded all these into my directory. So any objects that you've already have loaded, which will at least be the top level one here, will have a little failed next to them. But the ones that get loaded for the first time will have success next to them. You'll need to load your directory the first time that you ever pull down the project because the directory won't have been populated by default. Once the directory is populated, you should be able to use the features inside of Matilda that require the LDAP. For example, I'm going to browse to the OWASP 2017 injection other, go down to the LDAP injection and the conference room lookup page. This is one of the pages that uses the directory. And I'll click on find available rooms. And what should happen if the directory has data in it is I should see that these rooms are available. At any point, you need to rebuild the database because you corrupted it doing some kind of lab work or testing. Then you can just hit reset database and it'll put the MySQL server back the way it should be when the project is first built. So there you have bringing up Matilda Day on Docker and using the Matilda Day Docker project, you can minimize the amount of work you have to do except for loading the directory with the LDIF file for the first time and make running Matilda Day easy.